Hello everyone, I am again here with a new video which is a small part of configuring marketplace module. In this video, I will show you how to configure catalog module for marketplace extension. To configure, you have to log in to your admin panel. To enter your admin panel, you have to enter your username and password and now you have to click on login button clicking on login button will redirect you to the open card dashboard here you can find a side menu so you have to uh, click on extensions clicking on extension will open an accordion menu so you have to click on module by clicking on module and list of modules will displayed in front of you so you have to search for marketplace module here is the marketplace module you have to click on its edit button the edit button will redirect you to the edit marketplace page here you can find various tabs to configure your marketplace we will discuss about catalog module configuration so under catalog module configuration there are two tabs first is account second is product firstly we will discuss about account under account first field is allowed account menu from here you can select various options which you want to show in the menu on right side of the seller panel so to show you the menu i have to enter the sellers panel so this is our sales panel and right side menu yeah here is the right side menu which i was talking about so you can configure this menu from the admins panel so we'll get back to the admins panel so if you want to manage the menu you can deselect any option which will not show at the front end on sellers panel so I have deselected add product downloads and manage shipping and I will save it here is add product manage shipping and downloads I will refresh this page because I have disabled those menus and those menus are vanished from front end so you can now see how you can configure these options from admins panel so I will again select them so the next option is or next field is account menu sequence <clears throat> here you can set the sequence according to your need which will be displayed on front end the dashboard I have selected the dashboard and I have dragged the dashboard at the end of the menu from first to end and I am saving it to show you how it is working in front end here dashboard is in first place I will refresh this page and now you can see dashboard is displaying at the last so you can manage the sequence easily by drag and drop so I will fix it fastly 
so this is the last option of last field of account tab now we will go to the product tab under product tab the first field is name display here you can select the seller's name or the company name company's name which you want to display on the product page or you can display both together so i'll show you from the front end how does it work so at first I have to log out I have to go to the cell page now I will click on any product here John Doe is our seller's name demo seller's name is John Doe so we will change it to company's name and I have to save this configuration now again we will go to the front end and I have to refresh this page now the company name is John Doe store our seller's name is John Doe and the company name is John store so you can change it from the admins panel you can display the company's name or the seller's name or you can if you want you can set seller and company's name together so in this situation I'll show you what is displaying in front end I have to refresh this page or front end here is the company name and the seller's name together so you can select any one of them now the second field is sh uh, show seller's product if enabled then the other products of that particular seller will be displayed on below of product page so I will show you how it is displayed this is the other products sold by John Doe so you can hide those product by dis disable disabling this field if you disable this then other products sold by this seller will not display in front end so I will show you on front end here only one product is shown and other products are not shown in the product page so you can configure it easily from admins panel then the next and the last field is display image here you can select image of seller as avatar or you can select company's logo or you can select company's banner to be displayed at the product page so at first I will select the avatar which is the seller's image and save it and see what is displaying in front end so this is the seller's image or you can say avatar now again I will go to the admins panel and I will show you how you can put the company's banner instead of the avatar so I will save it and now I will show you from the front end here is the avatar I have to refresh the page now here is the company's banner 
so you can easily configure it from the admins panel that's all for this video you can find various videos to configure other tabs thank you for watching this video stay connected